Hello, how are you? This is Jilly Bling, and I have a project using new product. The Zany Zoo Bundle, actually product suite, is so much fun. So I keep doing animals, and I keep saying, okay, that's it, no more animals. But how can you not love this? When you look at every one of them, like if you have friends, they all have different things that they do. Um, like the knitting one, that's what said, okay, that's it. I have to get it. Everyone has them a birthday. And we have bike rider, outdoor enthusiasts, karaoke people, or um, like campers, or ones that like to dance. And then if that doesn't cover everything, the designer paper, I'll show you that in a minute, is so cute. So this project, um, has a lot of them on it and you could tell by the number of samples I couldn't I couldn't not do more first of all this little I don't know if it's an alligator or a crocodile but his feet are up off the bike he's he's like saying wee and then look at the adorable little flowers and do you like the new colors this is lemon lime twist <clears throat> and I'm always late with birthday celebrations. This is perfect. Love how that one turned out. And I love the fold on this. Then this one, I think this one might be my favorite. And I don't know why. I do like, I think that's a sloth. I do like me a sloth. I think they're, I don't know why, but I have a fascination with them. I just like them. And these little gems are brand new. They are called Adhesive Back Solid Gems, and they're in Lemon Lolly, Boho Blue, and I think this is Copper. What is the Copper name? Copper what? Copper Clay. But loving these. So I have three of them on here, a couple up there, and I did his little pillow, her pillow, to match. And then just nothing on the inside. Nothing fancy, just love. Because, you know, if somebody is meditating, actually, I don't know that they should be saying hello. Maybe that's coming from the outside, like, hello. Um, but I just, I love this one. And it's, it's so simple. <clears throat> I'm just waking up. Um, okay, this is the reason I bought the set. I know quite a few knitters. And... If you're watching this and you received a text kind of late last night, um, I made it for, or just thinking about, four friends in particular that love doing some knitting. And look how cute that is. And this is Lemon Lolly. Isn't that color beautiful? Grateful for the everyday magic of you. People that can knit their magic. But I love this card and the sparkle just because I'm sure that this scarf is going to have sparkle in it. I don't know. Okay, so this is the first one I made. You're like, wait a minute, that isn't in the set. That's part of the paper. I just cut out the paper. This one went really fast. A little bit of dancing. And this one here, is she's saying, thank you. But this is how I felt, this dancing, when... The new pre-order was about to arrive and I was waiting for UPS. And yeah, I kept looking out the window. That's what I was doing in the house when I saw him arrive. The boxes were too heavy. Okay, this one I'm trying to make is a boy card. With boy colors. Emma has raccoons at her house. On purpose. And she feeds them cat food. And she has pictures of them. And they've had babies. And see the music I stamped on here? Oh, so the black and white paper. This is in the annual catalog that's about to go out. It's black and white. Really cute. And on the back side of the paper that goes with this product suite is the perfect black and white paper. But if I use the back of it, then we couldn't be cutting out all these cute little critters. So speaking of the paper... Yeah, this, this seems to be a trend with me. I'm going to use iridescent rhinestones. 
here's the papers we'll be using today. And look at this cutout. We'll be doing that one here in just a minute. Annual catalog is where you can find Zany Zoo. And right at the front of the catalog, um, they have a sweet index. And I think it's like the third one down. It says, what page is on? Here's the paper. Okay, any of these critters. Look at that fox. That is just so cute. And this is that same um, crocodile alligator. I, I, I planned on looking up how can you tell the difference from crocodiles to alligators, but I didn't. If you know someone that um, does these little scooters, just it's just so cute. So if you're like, well, okay, I know a few. But hold on, there's more. So this one is more on wheels. This page is more birthday related. Elephant with a banner. Armadillo, that is so cute. Every one of them, you could cut it out and have it as your card front. Imagine all those card fronts. If you're like, well, okay, there's more. If you know someone who likes to camp or loves the outdoors, look at him. And then this is like a repeat. That's an image in the stamp set, I think. That's this one. Oh, you know what? I bet you the die cuts that out. Look at that. Oh. Clever, clever. Okay. And if outdoors not, is not your thing, do you have any little dancers or people that dance around the house waiting for product pre-order to arrive? Recognize this one and that one? And then I cut out these little flowers. That's what made these flowers right here. Okay, so then there's that one. But if that's not your thing, if you're into music, look at all the little music notes. This is the one we're going to do today. And there's kind of a reason why, but I'll tell you in a minute. And then the little frogs. And then there's the artists, the ones who make and do knitting. This baking one, I was really close to doing that. Because there's a few people who just whip up stuff really good all the time. Reading. Artists. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's the pack of paper. And I was about to flip it over to use this, which is perfect for this card, for the black and white here. And I thought, well, if I use all this, I'm not going to have enough to cut out. So, using stuff from the old catalog. And we're going to be scoring. Let's just get into making the card. So I'll pull out that piece. For, oh, and okay. Zany Zoo. Something fancy for the words. And go to greetings. Just because it's nice. On that Zen one, I had the little hello. These are just nice for just a little something. Okay. So I have this here. The flap we're going to score at three and a half. So I'm going to score that and then get the paper cutter to move along. Three and a half. And I'll put all the paper cut sizes on my blog. My blog is jillybling.com and I have been meeting with Annie um, about a new blog. So that should be coming soon. It's quite an investment is all I can say. And um, it's going to have a whole new look. And a few people said, hey, I can't, I can't do that subscribe button. Feet Burner, who is the person when you hit the subscribe button, put in your email, they went out of business. And they're still just letting stuff. If you signed up before they went out of business, that's fine. But they're not taking anything new. Therefore, if you hit the subscribe button, it does nothing. I'm going to take care of that. Annie is going to help me take care of that. It's going to have a whole new look. Many of the links that are on my blog didn't work. She's going to fix that. Instead of the, um, the banner at the top, 
um, that I had designed quite some time ago. She's going to put something different there. What else? She, she said, here, give me an idea of what kind of banner you want. I'm like, I don't know. And I'm just picked out a few ideas. Then she's like, what font do you want? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. So I just picked out a few of them. Have her make the final decision. Anyhow, that's exciting. And Okay, so this is kind of a fun fold. Just putting this piece in, getting it right up to the edge. So these go in here. So let me, well, since we're on it, let's, let's do this. Oh, and then the dies. I don't think that there's a die to cut out this one. Okay, so the story about this is... I love me some Lion King, and I don't know, what is the animal that sings, um, Akuna Matata, something like, it's a wonderful thing, problem-free philosophy, um, I don't know what animal it was, but I'm just pretending it like it was that one, I'm going to cut these out. And I think the reason that's in my head is because we went to that concert a few nights ago. Um, one of the band members, I think he, I, I don't know, maybe he was backup. I don't sing or I don't know what he, what his job was, but he can sing. But he sang that song on Lion King. And so they're introducing each of the band members. And then they said this guy's name and he goes, and what you all might not know is he sang the song um, for Lion King. And he came up there and he sang just like maybe um, two or three phrases. And it is him. So maybe that's why that song is in my head. Maybe it's because um, Shelly, I don't know if she's still, that, that, that was my ringtone. I don't know if it still is. And I know, Shelly, right now you're telling me, but I can't hear you. So, and I like that song. Problem-free philosophy. So, therefore, that's today's project. But he's pretty black and white. I think he needs a little bit more coloring. And I don't even know what he is. Is he like a, a boar or a wild hog? Or I didn't look up how you color him. Well, maybe mine will be just colored a little, a little extra unique. He's his own variety. Okay, I was like, oh my gosh, the card is already done. Just like that. These are going to go on here. So the thing is, when you put these on, do you want them in the center of this panel? Which will not be the center of the card, or do you want them centered? Then another thing is the circles. Do you want them offset or right in the middle? For the Zen one, because he was centering himself, that one was everything right in the center. Circles in the center, the circles on the center of the card. The rest of them, I think I'm going to have them over here on this panel. And see how this one's dropped down a little low? Same with this one. These circles are centered. And these circles are high. But I think that makes the wheel stand out more. And what kind of words? I don't know. I didn't plan that. What kind of words go with singing critter? I don't know. Well. Start by cutting them out. And this is just one of the pages of designer paper. And there's so many images on that designer paper. If you were to take one pack of paper, or even half a pack of paper, and make cards using those images, you would have like 50 cards. There's so many cute images on there. And ones that are not in the stamp set. 
And I'll admit, doing the ones in the um, stamping them, they look good, but they take a little bit more time. Last night, Tony had a, a bus run. I was here making coloring way too late. But I couldn't stop. Then I was thinking, oh, I'll get to this one right here for the video. Mm, it was too late. So, this morning in jammies, because I've been thinking and singing this song all night long, which is crazy. So I'm thinking for coloring of doing just like kind of a brown color and then a fade to um, white on his tummy. And then maybe his hair could be crazy color. I don't know, the card is Lemon Lolly. Um, I don't know that it should be Lemon Lolly. That's almost a little bit too normal. Okay, so I started my new little color chart. So, I was thinking about Pebble Path, but that might be too dark. Well, that could look good. Okay. Pebbled Path. And his little horn things, I'm just going to think of those as like his teeth. They could be white. And... What else? His hair? I think it's going to be Lemon Lolly. He's just going to be a little crazy. Lemon. Maybe he should be... I don't know. It's hard to know. Because I don't know what kind of animal he is. Well, I'm thinking about what color should his like little fingers and toes be and his nose. So his nose, how about that is like SU900. Okay. Okay, change of plans. It's going to be granite gray, and his toes are going to be pebble path. And his hair is going to be yellow. Granite, granite. And I'm going to try to do that white tummy thing. Try. So, this is where the tummy can be. Oh, this is dark. So that's the shadows. And then the rest with light. So he has yellow hair because he is like a rocker. I wonder if I should have it with different colored tips. Just something a little crazy.
So the new catalog is a lot of fun. And I'll be doing another project tomorrow using the, um, the Blue Countryside Inn product suite. And I love that new color, boho blue, but I like blue. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more shadow on just because I didn't, I kind of colored it out. Just a little bit more. Okay, and this is nose color, and maybe a hint in the ears. Okay, starting to look good. And I think pebble, just a darker, heavier brown, which we've been missing for a long time. I always was hoping um, early espresso would become a blend, but it never did. But I like that. Oh, I wonder if this would be good and then go to yellow tips. Like he was um, sun bleached. Okay, he's looking pretty natural right now. Now he's going to get the rocker crazy. Okay, so you could blend any two colors. I sure am testing those limits. Yeah! And then how about the guitar? That part can be Pebble Path Light. Just a little bit of color through there. Oop. Okay. Then, to blend the tummy out, just a hint of color lifter. Because those are animal hairs making his tummy light. So just kind of soften it. Ooh, he's cute. Okay, let's see how he is on here. Good. And this is going to be, I know in the set, there is the music. This one. That one. And he's singing. What's he singing about? Is he singing happy birthday? Um, I like the... I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. And should I do a banner? So on this one, I stamped right onto the circle. Hello. Same with this one. This one, you're too wonderful. So these, I did three banners, which is cute. So I'm going to do stamping onto the white circle. But... It has to be small. I like the hello. Um, okay, how about just a note? I don't know that I have that ready. Just a note, and then what should I say on the inside? You matter to so many. That's good. Just a note. And you matter to so many. Okay, we have a plan. And I need a block. Okay, so here is going to be, and I'm going to try to do this one different. Just a note. Oh, in a note, like the music. <laughs> I planned that. Isn't that cute? <gasps> yeah. Just 
just a note. Oh, I crack myself up sometimes. Okay, this one, we're going to put it way over here. And I think you need some notes. Okay, and I'll put more notes on the inside. Okay, so that's good. So, I don't know what for the, the inside. After um, a while last night, it's like, I don't need to stamp and spend another hour coloring inside again. So I just started putting words only. Because, you know, you have to write something, right? Um, just a note. And dimensionals that are buried. I don't know if it could fit on there. Oh, it does. But his tail, I'm going to stick that down. So I'll stick down a little bit of the shadow and the tail. That's it. The tail and shadow. Okay, so, oh, and then the ribbon. I like the ribbon. The ribbon, I didn't tell you about that. Ribbon combo pack that goes with this product suite. I was going to put a bow on, like just a little bow on one of them, but then I thought, nah, I don't know. But I think because the guitar has this color, um, well, you know what might be cute? Let's see. How does it look if it goes around? Oh, that's cute. And just a knot. This is Petal Pink. It's nice that Stampin' Up! provides the colors used on the back of the designer paper. So you know what colors to pull out. Petal Pink. I didn't get that very tight though, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, that really brings it all together. I don't know if I make it a little higher. It could go right there. But I'm not liking how my um, ribbon is a little bit loose. It's just a little bit. So I have a fix for that. So I'll show you my fix. Crew dots. Don't cringe. Just got to do it. There, now it's not loose anymore. And the thought of that, the glue dots letting go, makes me cringe. So I will just 
put liquid glue because then I know they won't let go. Because every time that the card opens and closes, this um, piece is pushing on the ribbon. So I need to secure that. Okay, dry, dry. Not, then I'll clean up the ends of the ribbon. Okay, so this is going to go on just thinking flat. Okay, there it is. So now time to work on the center and then put some bling and clean up. And I'm going to put something just to make sure that that little white. Cute, cute. Okay, so for the inside, I should have more of a plan. You matter to so many, that's good. <clears throat> But I don't know about stamp and stuff. I'll just maybe put the music. Because that means balloon. This guy is peeping at birds on the lake. I think just music. Then you have the opportunity to have lots of room to write. Yeah. Yeah. You matter to so many. Is that straight? I'll try again. I think it's going uphill a little bit. Then I'll take the best of whatever. That one's going uphill a little bit too. Let's see which one is less uphill. That's not too bad. That one's a little better. And one thing is you want to stamp just a little bit lower than you naturally would because once it's inside here, well, I guess you naturally would not stamp up that high, but you just don't want it to be seen words up here before you open the card. That's good. Okay, music. And I'll color the music. Maybe I'll put lots of music on just to kind of fill the, um, the white space. And I'll put a hint of color on these, these little musical notes. Okay, I'm getting carried away. That's another thing, is when you're stamping, like see how I was getting carried away? If you do too much, you have to color all that. This is like in, in school when you had to do those bubble. You had to put the right answer, A, B, C, or D. Fill in the bubble completely. No, maybe I'll do a few of the um, few of them in that pebble path light. I don't want it to be too dark. Or should I do a granite? I think granite. Granite would be better. It's more in the gray tone. I don't remember which ones I colored and which ones I didn't. Okay. And that should be stuck down. So to put the black in, I'm purposely going to use liquid glue. Just because I think that Stampin' Seal, it's good and it's really strong but I really don't want this little seam right here to lift. I don't think it's going anywhere. It feels very stable.
Well, that turned out cute. Okay, let's just clean up a few things on the front and then that's it. See, that didn't take too long. If I were coloring and cutting this one, yeah, I spent, oh, and the, the alligator crocodile. That's the one I was gonna put the green bow on, but it got lost. So I stamped him and then stamped this. It, that one ended up taking a lot of time. Okay, so let's clean up these ribbon ends. Okay, and a few bling. Gotta do bling. Put on one big one. There's a smudge right there. It's driving me crazy. It's gone now. And small one. And another small one. Oop. Okay, well, I lost the glue dot on that. Oh! And there it is. Today's project. Zany Zoo. Much cute. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Oh, and on this one, I stamped on the designer paper, the confetti. Confetti. I don't think it would show up on these flowers. But that's kind of fun, too. Okay. So that is it. I hope you have a great day.